Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, and today I want to talk about something you guys probably aren't familiar with because I'm pretty sure I made up the word, but uh, slaying your shadow dragons. And let me give you a little background behind this. When I was a kid, uh, not very often, but occasionally I would have nightmares. And I didn't really remember them that much. But when I woke up, I remember I was like, you know, all um, worked up. <clears throat> and I would look around. Sometimes this would happen before I fell asleep. Look around and, um, you know, there's probably a night light or something shining in your room. And even if you do this now, right, you right now, if, if you go to sleep tonight, you know, notice on the walls the different shadows that are casts. And, um, but as a kid you see these things and they look like figures and to me a lot of them look like dragons shadow dragons and <coughs> they kinda of scared me and they would keep me up at night and um... you know as I got older I realized like after the age of four or five I realized okay they're they're just shadows but before that they, they really disturbed me and um... But then as I got older, I would take flashlights and I would, at night, sometimes just play around and shine the light on if I saw a figure like that. And it would disappear, slaying my shadow dragons. And um, I think it's very analogous to our fears, especially our fears of failure and our self-doubt. <coughs> a lot of times we look at a situation and we see all the things that could go wrong and that's the shadow dragon and it's there and it looks scary and it and it's terrifying and it'll keep you up at night the thing is all you have to do is face it head-on and shed some light on it. and when you do it totally disappears sometimes you have to you have to see things for what they are. A lot of a lot of your problems are here because you're psyching yourself out. A lot of the a lot of the issues that you have achieving your goals and your dreams and your outcomes and your projects and whatever it may be, your relationships, it's because of up here. You've got shadow dragons. And yeah, they may seem terrifying, but that's it. That's all they are. They seem. <coughs> Edgar Allan Poe once said in his poem, named the same thing, um, is all that we see or seem, but that which is a dream within a dream. And sometimes I wonder if, you know, we dream up these shadow dragons to create our own little reality and put a box around ourselves when really we need to we need to shine the light on them let them be seen for what they really are blank surfaces with no no mass behind them it's all in our mind it's a translation of what our mind sees it's our fears <coughs> and so I'm gonna keep this short but <laughs> think to yourself where are my shadow dragons what what things are keeping me up at night that aren't allowing me to dream my dreams the way I want and that is causing my life to be more of a nightmare than the way I would rather it be um, and then once you I've, have identified them shine the light in their direction face them on head on play with it and you'll see there's nothing to be worried about there's nothing there it's all in your head All right. I hope this has been helpful and uh, if you like what you heard obviously please give me a like and um, if you want to hear more please subscribe to my channel you'll be given all my content and updates but until next time take it easy